Hello and welcome uh, to Gunnar Weisskamp's Web Development. We're up to lesson four uh, and we're going to look at some of Angular directives. Um, so in this lesson we will cover a number of uh, Angular directives, ng-repeat, ng-switch, ng-class, ng-mouse-enter, ng-mouse-leave and ng-init. Um, the ng repeats quite popular and quite useful, so you might get some good use out of it. Right, um, we're going to start to rock and roll then. As we do, let's bring up Visual Studio. We're still building upon the last solution. Very simple stuff if you want to recreate this. You've got a, more or less an empty uh, application here. Just install Angular. Put your app file there, your JavaScript file there. Add a HTML page and you're set to go, really. <clears throat> Here we can see both my screens. This is my Angular JavaScript file. Very simple stuff. One controller in it, one app. Remember um, to rename your HTML file in the correct manner as well. You know, port over your Angular files and your JavaScript files. Add over and, you know, name your controls as I have here. So let's go grab some code which I've created somewhere before here. Right, so this guy, let's just grab all of this. <coughs> this one. That'll come, let's tidy that up. Let's put this guy in here. Right. <clears throat> so before I compile it and uh, show you the magic, I'll just try to explain a little bit. We've got this ng model here, which we sort of talked about um, in the last lesson. And in the last lesson, we just use it in an input object. But as I mentioned, you can use it in many different areas. And in here, we are actually using it in a select. So now, whatever you select from this select drop-down list will be passed into this ng model. This will be passed onto our ng switch guy into here. <clears throat> now you might be wondering what this ng switch guy does. Uh, a good way of it is to demonstrate it, uh, but the other way is when when we select here door number one, this guy here in our JavaScript file, this will show door number one. Uh, sorry, it'll show hello door number one here. Um, it's, it's a little bit difficult to explain because there's a number of things going on here. Because we've also got our ng repeat here. Those new to Angular might be wondering what that guy does, which is a fair, uh, fair enough question. <coughs> ng repeat will, is good with working with arrays of information. Here in Angular script, we have an array of information. We have three objects in this array door number one, door number two, door number three. What ng-repeat does, it gets that array called value, value here. It puts each one, it loops through each one, puts that in the item here, one at a time, and then puts in this attribute value that item, which will be door number one, then door number two, door number three, and it will display that in here uh, by the use of expressions. So that's sort of how ng repeat works. Um, and now, as, as mentioned before, once we select something, the item gets put, put in here in our ng model, which ends up in here, causing ng switch to display whatever you've, whichever value is associated with, with, with this value here, with the ng switch when. So when we go for door number one here, and we selected it, that'll match that, and hello door number one will show. But um, enough talking, let's actually see that in action. <clears throat> if we refresh here. Right, so here we go, please select door number one. And we, oh, there we go. Hello, door number one. And so we've selected uh, door number one here. So this got this value here corresponds to this value here, showing this value here. So that's, if we now, 
select come on we now select door number two hello door number two door number three hello door number three so there's a few objects that we've got covered there in a way the ng repeat very useful object good for showing uh, table information as well uh, I'll try to show one of those later on uh, in another lesson and the ng switch ng switch directive angular directive uh, it can be useful for again uh, showing options that you've selected or, or items like that uh, the next piece of the puzzle that we're going to have a quick look at is um, ng class uh, and changing certain facets of that and using functions so we're going to add a little bit of styling here we'll put that guy in we'll get rid of this code here so not so that we don't get too confused too much code it's not a good thing sometimes <clears throat> right so now let's grab the other bits this is our ng init guy and some people might be wondering what the hell does that do I know I did he's over there so now let's grab our start to grab our other HTML which we're going to do some stuff on tighten that up yep there we go and now grab some angular code <coughs> Alright, so we have all the parts, the moving parts now. Right, that's um, just saving. So I'll try to explain as best as I can how this sort of all comes together. Uh, top down, we've just declared some classes here, uh, some styling classes here. Background color uh, objects. All we're going to do is the aim is to change the background color of this div. And so this this writing will at times when we do different actions go from red, green, orange. So that's what the style is coming into play for. Uh, let's keep working top down. This ng in it. Some people might be wondering what the hell that thing does. Um, <clears throat> so okay, that's interesting. Uh, yeah. So um, sorry, I got distracted there a little bit. Uh, this ng in it initializes object. So it'll initialize this object here within our code, which is used by the ng class. Uh, and the ng class, the ng class is used to style uh, a certain Angular ele element. So wh whatever this ng class is associated with, whichever uh, tag it's associated with, it is used to style it. So we here set it to default color, which is this color here. So when this application first starts, first starts up, it should be the color orange. This will all be orange, but we'll see that in play in a minute. In a minute, <clears throat> we've got a few more little things here. We've got the ng mouse enter, ng mouse leave. They call their corresponding functions, as we can see here. Change class now. Script. Change class uh, back. The um, <coughs> the object of this process is is to, to show that we can change classes dynamically uh, using certain angular processes so you can change the class and make it look differently by doing certain events within an application so when we change this class to black is called the color item will become this new color which is here which will, will, uh, will become red so on when we on mouse leave event is called this whole item will become red. On the mouse enter, we call this function change class, and it will end up passing the color object the next color, which is this guy over here. So it'll go green. So on mouse enter, it'll go green. So when the app starts, we should go to orange. Then when we, when we enter with the mouse, it'll go to green. And then when we mouse leave, it will go to red right okay that's a, a bit of gabbing on 
let's refresh we've saved everything there so there we have it orange we have our default color here default color orange which gets passed into here that's what the ng init does the ng init can you be used to um, initialize many different objects not just the class objects so it can be used in many different ways now let's move the mouse over this div here or enter it and ta-da it went green <laughs> so that's always a good thing so if we leave now it'll go red there we go it went red because the mouse enter is called which calls the change class and that'll cause call this next color which is the green and so forth the mouse leave it goes to green and you can do that all day long <clears throat> so that technique can be handy if you're if you're scrolling over an item and it's important for the user to identify with you can change that color uh, to draw their attention to it more often um, so so that's uh, the ng class in a nutshell okay so that was a bit of knowledge there talking about the ng repeat the ng switch the ng class ng mouse enter and mouse ng mouse leave it ng init but um, if you'd like to look at any more of my tutorials feel free to go to my website gonnawisecamp.com and I hope uh, this uh, tutorial tutorial has been of good use for you all right thanks for your time and uh, good night